hey guys welcome to my channel welcome back welcome back if you're new hello make sure you <laughs> make sure you subscribe and put the notification bell so you can keep updated you don't have any notifications okay Siri um, <laughs> that was weird uh, yeah so as the title of the video suggests that I'm giving you guys a seven week update of my procedure in Colombia. So if you, for the people that don't know, I went to Colombia um, in April. I got a 360 BBL, a breast lift with implants, and I also got arm lipo added last minute. Yes. So pretty much um, everything went well. I love my results. It's very like, not too much it's like more on the like not crazy looking side you know it's like really like it suits my body and yeah I am in love with my results I'm still healing like every like every day it's like you see you're like okay damn okay this is what my body is like doing today like every day is a different day it's like it's amazing um I would like to say like at seven weeks, like the pain is definitely at the minimal. The only pain I get right now is just like at my nipples. My nipples like get, are really, sorry, really sensitive. Um, sometimes when I sleep on certain ways or lie down on certain ways, it kind of hurts. I try not to lie down on my side. I try not to, but that's like, that's how I like to sleep. And I hate sleep on my back. And when I do sleep on my back, I use my BBL pillow and then pill other pillows on my back and my head to just like plump up my butt. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. Um, how much was my surgery? I hate that question. If you like inbox me how much my surgery, I probably will not answer you. Um, because like it's surgery is a, like a lifestyle. Like you literally can be broke and get surgery and expect your results to be amazing afterwards. Like it's all about maintenance and all about that. So I mean, if let's say your BBL is $4,000 um, and you only have $6,000 saved and that's all your money, like savings, that's it. I wouldn't even recommend going to get a BBL. Like, I think if you're going to get a BBL, at least have 10K for your surgery alone and have a, like a few K in your bank because you're going to need surgery. You're going to need massages after. Um, you might need to get your clothes altered. You might need to get your fajas altered. So there's a lot of factors. And plus, like sometimes when you're in Colombia, things can happen like changing your flight or have to cancel your flight, stay a few days extra to recover your house. Like there's just all these factors you have to like also think about because you don't know. Um, for me, like when I went, um, it was like the midst of the, the protests and whatnot. So um, my airline canceled my, well not canceled, but like was moving my ticket back back every day it was like i was supposed to leave on the 11th i ended up leaving on the 16th so uh, i ended up canceling my ticket and rebooking my ticket i don't know there was just like i just it was just annoying as heck so i did that and i had to obviously spend how many extra nights at the recovery house which isn't cheap um so i did that and then I also got it, uh, got it. Also made sure to get like massages down there because it's way cheaper. So uh, Velasco offers, a, and he will, in his package, he gives you 10 massages. I probably had like seven from his masseuse. And then I had um, someone come to the house, recovery house, and I had probably like another 10. So I had probably, probably like more than 10 with them. I don't even, I'm not even too sure. I don't remember. So I probably had like probably 20 massages in Colombia before I even came home. 
And then coming home, I haven't had any massages from a masseuse because we're still here in Ontario, Canada. We're still we're still on a we were still on a lockdown. We just opened up recently and I don't even know if that service is allowed. But I can massage myself and I my mom's a PSW, she can massage me, but she massaged me once. So I was like, you know what, let me do it myself. Cause I can like get in, dig, 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 it hurts a bit, but like whatever. Do what I gotta do. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I do have an aesthetics background also, so like massage is like not hard for me to do it's just like just remembering what the masseuse did and just kind of like mimicking the same movements so one thing i would recommend for actually one thing i would recommend doing so you saw if you saw that what i packed in my um what i packed for my bbl um, video I would recommend to literally pack light when I mean light you need like two dresses um, maybe um, um, compression socks extra socks underwear and then like literally you don't need soup if you're at a recovery house you don't need cause I, I did not I did not bring that I knew my luggage was gonna be way too heavy um, there's a lot of things that I, um, the tape, the like medical tape, they didn't like, well, I mean the nurse didn't like the tape because it was too hard to like rip. So they bought, I ended up buying extra tape there that was amazing. Um, literally pack a light. I packed heavy and was regretting it after because <laughs> I had to pay extra to for my luggage coming home too because I'm bringing let's say I'm bringing extra Bajas like Velasco gives you two Bajas plus I went and bought three other Bajas at um, a store called I think it's your skin look I'll put the link um below and that's what I'm wearing actually your skin look and that's where I got the compression um, also I got like two long sleeve fajas and then one like strap and like shorter and they're they're actually not that expensive either so yes i mean if worst case scenario if you don't bring like anything like you don't bring like you miss something or you you forgot something you could buy it there for cheaper so i mean i literally packed so many dresses and so many like like pants and like stuff that I never even wore I literally wore two dresses and made them wash it and like oh that was only to go to like my massages or to walk to the pharmacy so really really truly truly stickly and plus I had like I had a pair of flip-flop slides and a pair of shoes yeah and then like when i came from the airport or when i was leaving home i was on wheelchair assistance so i don't know it's just i packed way too much stuff and you don't need to pack that much stuff you're literally going to recover you're not going to look like a dime like a a bad bitch like you <laughs> we're all like swollen in pain you're not gonna want to even put makeup maybe like your flight home you want to put makeup on like i literally probably put makeup on like once and that was just to because i wanted to feel good because i was just like in a mental state but anyways you don't really need to you really don't need to pack that heavy that <laughs> pack light and make sure to like bring those um pads those like the pen pads the flat ones the one that you fold over they're like puppy pads but they're not puppy pads those ones make sure i ran out because i did stay longer for more massages so if you're staying like i would say like a week even a week longer than you're supposed to because you're supposed to spend like low you're supposed to you're supposed to like 
say they're two weeks. I say a little bit longer than two weeks after surgery. Most people leave at like, if they're going to be yelling, leave at like 10 days or even seven days after, like a week after, because they just had a baby out. Like, it's not like I had, I literally had stitches that had to get removed. So I had a little bit more things to worry about. So, I mean, you don't really need to stay. If you're in a BBL, you don't need to stay the two weeks. Just, if you feel well and the doctor approves you to leave, then you can leave. So, yeah, it all depends on your healing. I was healing great and I still spent <laughs> more than two weeks. But anyways, okay, so, yes, pretty much, um... I haven't been really updating. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I post more on Instagram. Like I'll post like stories um, or even TikTok, but I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be more active everywhere at once. It's a lot of work, um, but anyways. So let me show you guys what I look like in a Faha slash compression. So I'm in a Faha and I'm compressing right now. So I you can't really see my results until I take take it out. This is what I look like in a Faha with my compression. As you can see, you can't really see if I have a waist or not. But I do have some little bit hips. Right here, here, so it looks like I have like an intense six 